Hey guys, this is Stephanie Lemlin, and I play the computer, and also Artemis, and you're listening to Whelmed, The Young Justice Files. Recognized, Emily of Arden, D-1-2. Hello team, and welcome to Intel Update number 14. This is Emily, and I'm here with no one, because my amazing co-host, Rich Howard, is very busy with a Kickstarter right now. We have quite a bit of Intel to update today, but let's start with that. My incredible co-host, Rich, along with one of our editors, Richard Kreutz-Landry, and friend of the show, Taylor LaBresh, have made a tabletop role-playing game. It's called Descent into Midnight, and my own words could not do justice to what this game is and what it already means to people. To quote the game's website, Descent into Midnight is a game about community, family, and hope. It's a tabletop role-playing game that takes place in a technologically advanced aquatic civilization whose culture has never been touched by humanity. Bioengineering and psionic or mental powers allow these strange and varied species to communicate and interact with their surroundings no matter their physiology. In the game, players take on the roles of guardians, defending their community from a physical, emotional, and even existential threat. The game focuses on the relationships between the Guardians, the inhabitants they protect, and their internal struggles and dreams in the face of a corruption that threatens to change their world. Everything I have seen and heard about this game has made me understand that it is a beautiful, hopeful, living piece of art that players can shape and tailor however they please. It is an amazing, amazing game. And I could not be prouder of what this team has put together. So, if you're a fan of tabletop RPGs, collaborative storytelling, really weird fish, or just want to live out your lifelong Atlantean dreams, consider supporting the Descent into Midnight Kickstarter at the link down in the show notes. The Kickstarter started on February 15th and will be running until March 15th. It's currently fully funded, but that means it's time for stretch goals. At the time of this recording, they are two-thirds of the way to their first stretch goal, which will include both a printable PDF coloring book of incredible aquatic art and, most exciting to me, an actual play miniseries by the Streampunks team. Even if that particular name sounds unfamiliar to you, you've definitely heard of this group before. They were the brilliant minds behind Callisto 6, the super punk actual play series we featured as our fan service in episode 17 of season 3. They are an amazing creative group of humans who have created other shows like Shield of Tomorrow and Clear Skies, and if you'd like to see them dive into the incredible, weird, hopeful world of aquatic gaming that Rich, Taylor, and Richard have put together please consider funding this amazing project. You can find out more about the game at DescentIntoMidnight.com and you can support the Kickstarter at dimrpg.io backslash ks or at the link down in the show notes. Now, some season four details. There hasn't been a lot, but as of the time of this recording, the latest bit of season four info came from Greg Weissman's Twitter account. According to him, on February 8th, the cast and crew had completed writing on 11 scripts and had six episodes recorded, but hadn't locked any animatics yet. So, season four is moving right along and hopefully we'll hear more news soon, but it looks like a release date or trailer is still a ways off. Now we move on to some whelmed podcast updates. Because of the distance between now and season four, a lot of you have been asking what that means for our show. We're still working out the exact details for our future plans, but here's a general idea of what you can expect in your podcast feeds. 
after we release the final episode of our season three reviews, we'll be scaling back our weekly episode releases for a while. Don't worry, we won't disappear completely. Currently, we're considering releasing a new episode every other week, but if that plan changes, we will let you all know. What can you expect from those episodes? Well, discussion sessions, super sweethearts, secret origins, blooper reels, and more. But what you can also expect is to hear a bit less of Rich. Before you all get worried and freak out, Rich isn't quitting the show. He's just taking a very well-earned break. Rich has been working tirelessly on this show for years now and needs to take a step back and several months to himself. Burnout, the loss of creative energy and motivation from producing too much content at a rapid pace, is a very real danger in podcasting or any other creative outlet. We don't want Rich to burn out, so he's taking his own hiatus from Whelmed. In the meantime, you'll probably be hearing a lot more of me. While Rich may still do a couple of discussion sessions if and only if he feels up for it, I will be handling most of them in the coming months. We have hopes and even a few plans to get even more of the cast and crew on to talk about Young Justice, and I'm very excited to do just that. We have other creators and podcasters and general fabulous intelligent nerds that we want to talk to about the show too. And as soon as any of that is finalized, we we will let you all know so that you can get excited for all of the incredible guests we hope to have on in the coming months. You may also hear more of Neil, our editor and producer. He has a few bonus episode ideas in mind, like Secret Origins Into the Light, highlighting the history of DC villains featured on Young Justice, which may end up happening while we wait for season four. During this time, we'll also be trying to revamp our Patreon to offer everyone better and more sustainable rewards going forward, since there are currently things being offered that we just can't deliver on with our busy lives and conflicting schedules, and we hope you'll all bear with us while we do. Also, Neil and I will be taking over all of the whelmed social media accounts, so if you tweet at us, we'll be the ones responding now, rather than Rich, who was handling a lot of it beforehand. We all want to thank you so much for all of your love and enthusiasm and patience as we move into the next chapter of Whelmed. And on the subject of our incredible audience, we want to read a couple of recent five-star reviews and thank you all for your kind words. Lego Pete 3 left a five-star review entitled Great, in which the review text simply reads, Great. (laughs) Thank you, Lego Pete 3. It may be a short message, but we do really appreciate you taking the time to leave it and leaving us a five-star rating to boost our ranking. Super Sam 75 left us a review that's titled Fantastic Podcast. They write, I love Whelmed. As a longtime DC fan, I enjoy the work this crew does to bring the listeners information and background on the YJ universe, as well as the greater DCU. Thanks for all the super work. Thank you, Super Sam 75. We appreciate it. And we're glad that we can bring a little bit of the history and the background to talking about the show that we all love so much. Miss GSPTLSNZ left us a five star review entitled Finally Hearing Someone Rant About YJ. They write I found this through an article on DCU, and it's my new favorite thing. I loved Young Justice since it came out, but never talked to anyone about it. 13-year-old girls are embarrassed for liking superheroes. Listening to others rant about their love for the show and DC and analyze the show so in-depth has been amazing. Everyone does an amazing job, and you learn so much about Young Justice, DC, and so much more. I've never played an RPG, but I have learned so much about them. Thankfully, I typically listen to this driving alone, so no one has to hear my cackles or exclamations of joy, shock, surprise, sadness, etc. I've been binging them, and I can't wait to catch up. Thank you so much for such a kind review, and we're so glad that you found us through DC Universe. We've loved working with them and appearing on DC Daily, and we're so thankful that it's helped other people find our show and fall in love with it. And from one former 13-year-old girl obsessed with superheroes to another, thank you for listening to our show 
and for leaving us such a kind review. Finally, IrisYJFan61 left us a review titled Hashtag We Are All Outsiders. They say, Hi, I'm Iris. I love your podcast. Are you going to have more voice actors come on to the podcast? You already had Jason, Stephanie, and some others, but are you going to have more? Other than that, your podcast is my favorite to listen to. Thank you so much for leaving us a five-star review, Iris. As for whether or not we will be having more YJ voice actors on the show, we are hoping to. We are trying to set up some discussions and try to figure that out. And until we have more details, though, that's about all we can say for now. But as soon as we have anything confirmed, we will be sure to let all of our wonderful audience know as soon as possible. I just want to thank you all so much for your kind words and your five-star ratings. They not only help others find the show, but they inspire us as creators to keep making great content for all of you. As a small request from me today, I'd like to ask every one of you out there listening to this to tell one of your favorite creators why you love their work. It could be on Twitter, in the comments on a YouTube video, through the contact page on their website, in a reblog on Tumblr. It doesn't matter. Just send some positivity out into the world and let your favorite creatives know that their work is very much appreciated. And with that, I think we can officially Zeta out of the Watchtower for now. And with that, I think we can Zeta out of the Watchtower. Thank you for spending time with us. If you'd like to join us in discussing this incredible series, you can find us on Twitter at The YJ Files, on Facebook at Crashing the Mode, on Tumblr at TheYJFiles.com, or on our website, CrashingTheMode.com. And if that isn't enough, you can email us at whelmedpodcast at gmail.com. You can also find us on YouTube, Stitcher, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. If you'd like to support our show, please consider sharing it with a friend and joining our chats on social media. You can also support the show by giving us a five-star review and or rating on Apple Podcasts or your podcatcher of choice. The ratings, comments, and subscriptions help others find the show. If you do leave us a rating, please let us know at our email address or on social media, especially if you live outside the U.S., since we have to look a little harder to find those ones. And if you tell us beforehand, it makes it just a little bit easier. If you are able to support us monetarily, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash crashing the mode. Even $1 a month can help us do in-person interviews, actual play podcasts, fan meetups, discussion sessions, and so much more. And remember, stay whelmed, everyone. You've been listening to Whelmed, the Young Justice Files podcast. Our hosts are Rich Howard and Emily Booza. Our editor and producer is Neil Powell. Our theme was composed by Emily Mio. Our logo was created by Kevin Bates. Whelmed is a fan-made podcast and is not officially affiliated with DC Comics, DC Entertainment, Warner Brothers Animation, and any other owners of Young Justice or its related source material. As such, these companies have sole ownership of all symbols, images, names, logos, and proprietary material related to Young Justice. Original content of this podcast is ours under Creative Commons. Thanks for listening, and stay whelmed.